Tyson Fury versus Deontay Water. What an awesome fight. I'm so excited for the fight. I knew that the press conferences for the fight would be awesome. And it has been awesome so far. I'll tell you what I love most about um, this matchup. And so far, just the press conferences. They're really great. Um, you can see them on Showtime Sports. Um, they're posting them on their YouTube pages and then also BT Sport. Anyway, listen. These two guys clearly love to both fight. They're great at what they do. But they also love to entertain people. And so there's a picture of them out there from when, I think it's from when Deontay Wilder traveled over there for Tyson Fury's last fight and was ringside for the fight. And just the look in both of their eyes and Tyson Fury is kind of goofing around and I just see like pure joy in their eyes. And the joy, what I, the story I make up is the joy comes from, they're just so happy. You know, think about both of these guys They've worked hard their whole lives for this moment. This is such a big moment in their in the heavyweight boxing history, but also just in their careers. Now, Tyson Fury already had a huge moment when he dethroned Vladimir Klitschko um, a few years ago. Um, but even in that, that was more of a passing of the torch or a taking of the torch, maybe. We, we didn't expect Tyson Fury to win that fight. He did. But in this fight, you have two fighters in their prime, undefeated, both have a claim to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson Fury um, was the unified heavyweight champion, but also lineal heavyweight champion when he defeated Vladimir Klitschko. And then, of course, he had his long layoff. Fury still is, in some people's eyes, the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He's the man who beat the man when the man was the man. And that's fine. If you're of that ilk, if you will, if you're a, a purist in that regard, that's fine. I, I call him the lineal heavyweight champion, too, because... I. I believe the same thing. Like Tyson Fury was a little heavyweight champion. I don't really care about the reasons why he was out of the ring, mental health issues, addiction, whatever. He is back. Nobody has beaten him. He's a heavyweight champion to me. But Deontay Wilder is the longest reigning heavyweight champion. He's a WBC title holder. And yeah, he also has a claim to being the heavyweight champion of the world. The other guy in the mix, we're not even going to say his name because he's not important. He is not important right now. He's not important because he chooses not to be important. And that's sad because I think a lot of us think that the other guy who has, what, three of the three of the belts, three of the four major belts, um, he has done so much and looks so good in the ring and has some good wins, of course. You know, he beat Klitschko as well. He just won a great fight against Alexander Povetkin. But he's not taking the biggest fight right now. And that's something that we can commend both Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder for doing. The two guys who are willing to get in the ring right now, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, what an amazing, awesome fight I think it's going to be. I've seen some people who don't think it's going to be pleasing to the eye. I don't understand that. I love heavyweight boxing, and I love heavyweight boxing because at any moment, in any fight, somebody can get sparked. <laughs> and especially with guys as big and as good as Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury is, has a different style than Wilder. He's a really great boxer. Um, he's really fast. You know, of course, he's gigantic, so he, he naturally has power. Um, but not the same kind of power that Wilder has. Wilder is just a pure athlete, awesome, amazing. You can't teach the kind of power that Deontay Wilder carries in his fists. And I just can't wait to see the two guys fight. I have no idea who's going to win the fight. I really don't. Um, some days I wake up in the morning and I'm thinking about the fight and I think, well, Deontay Wilder, he's going to hit him eventually. He's got 12 rounds to do it. He's going to hit him hard. And when he does, that's going to be the way he wins the fight. But then other times I wake up and I think, you know, Tyson Fury is such a good boxer. He's such a brilliant boxer. And because he, I think it's because of the way he looks. If he was like, looked like, if he had the body of a Vladimir Klitschko and did what he did, people would think that he's just... He's the greatest boxer ever. But because he looks, you know, just the way he looks, and I'm not saying he looks good or bad, I'm just saying, like, he just looks different, and he's a different kind of cat, um, and his body's different, and he's he's so just giant, I think he gets, uh, he's not praised like he should be. But what a brilliant boxer he is, and sometimes I think, I don't know, can DeAndre Wilder even hit this guy, or is he going to box his ears off? I don't know. I'm so excited for the fight. I hope you're excited for the vibe. We're having a big party here December 1st. I live in Sugarland, Texas. 
where do you live? Are you going to come over? You might. <laughs> Let me know. I'm so excited for the fight. Um, I am especially pleased with the build-up to the fight. They're doing a great job. I knew that they would. Um, I've interviewed Deontay Wilder a few times, and Deontay Wilder isn't just like that for the cameras. He's like that all the time. And so I knew when he got all the spotlight on him, man, would this guy shine. And he really is. He's really just uh, just an interesting character. I uh, love his Alabama accent. You know, I just love everything about Deontay Wilder and who he is and, and what he's come from. And remember that he got such a late start in his boxing career. You know, so he, he's had to work really hard to be where he is, and he's at the top of the sport right now. And then who doesn't love Tyson Fury? I mean, that guy was just a born entertainer. He's naturally lovable, and I think both guys in their own ways are naturally lovable. And I just think that that brings so much more um, intrigue into what would already be an awesome fight on paper. I think they're going to do a great job building the fight. I have absolutely no idea what it does on pay-per-view because that's more complicated than we would like to think it is. I mean, we don't really have any data over here, at least on the United States, as far as like what either one of these guys to do on pay-per-view because they haven't fought on pay-per-view over here. Um, so who knows? It could be a lot or a little. I don't know. I don't really care. To me, the most prestigious prize in all of sports, and not just all of boxing, but all of sports, is being the heavyweight champion of the world and being the heavyweight champion of the world in boxing. And that's because... That's been the biggest prize in, what, 100 years now. Jack Dempsey and Muhammad Ali and Joe Lewis and Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. And whoever wins this fight, to me, is the heavyweight champion of the world. That's because I think right now the heavyweight champion of the world is Tyson Fury. So whoever wins the fight is going to be that. And then let's take that winner. You know, it's a great fight. Let's do three of them. I don't care. Let's do them all in a row. I would love that too. But eventually we all want to see whoever wins this fight, whoever comes out ahead and between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, however many times they fight, we want to see him versus the other guy. And just what a great time to be a boxing fan. If you love heavyweight boxing, like I love heavyweight boxing, I can watch just old fights of heavyweights, especially heavyweight championship fights. I love it. It's my, probably my favorite. Um, it's probably my favorite thing to do in boxing. It's my favorite part of boxing. So right now, what a great time to be a boxing fan. So exciting. Um, I'm really excited for the fights. I think I've said that like a thousand times now, but it's so true. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Tell me who you think is going to win the fight. Um, are you Team Fury? Are you Team Wilder? Are you Team Other Guy? I don't care if you're Team Other Guy. Other Guy's not fighting. Um, yeah, let me know who you think is going to win the fight and why. Because, hey, maybe you can inform me on who I should pick, right? Like, um, some of you know that I'm a boxing writer. And some of you know that some of the stuff I do is for websites like gambling.com and some other places that um, where I pick for if you're if you're looking to bet on the fight and i've been pretty success, successful at that i'm on a little bit of a hot streak so um, i want to keep that going for everybody because hey um it's awesome if that's your thing to do if you like to if that's part of your the entertainment that you like is like betting on boxing then i want to help you make money that makes me feel happy i want to do that but right now if i had if you came to me and were like hey who should i bet on all i could tell you is like i don't know it's a pick and buy pick whichever the bookmakers tell you you win the most money betting on. So I think the last time I looked, uh, when the line opened, um, Tyson Fury was a slight favorite, but I'm pretty sure that's switched now, and that makes sense, Wilder being the favorite, all things considered. But I don't know. So right now, I think I've been on Tyson Fury. Don't hold my word. Don't, don't hold me to that, though. We'll see when, when, I, when I publish the article. So anyway, thanks for watching. Rachel will be back. Um, we just haven't been able to get into the studio together. So uh, if you come here just to see Rachel, don't be sad. She's coming back. I love her, too. I see her. Oh, she's just not here right now. Okay? She can't always be here. Rachel has to go out into the world and do things and see other, other people love Rachel, too. Are you trying to take Rachel from everyone else? Hmm? Think about that. Think about that when you go to sleep tonight.